Right, what's up guys welcome back to another video uh before we get into the video i wanted to give a uh, big credit to intended pun uh, and his death form post without the post um this uh entire video wouldn't even be possible so um big thanks to him i was looking for a way to get the orientation of a part without getting the position of a part when using c frames and because of this death form post i was able to find that so again credit to them but i'm also going to be putting it in a video format for people that um you know want to visualize this okay so let's get into it so uh, what you want to do is um uh, i'm going to show you how to do it with these two parts okay so we have the red part right here which is going to be facing this way and then the, the yellow part is going to be facing this way what we're trying to do is get the yellow part to basically stay exactly where it is but face the exact same way or have the exact same orientation as the red part okay so uh, what you want to do is this okay we're going to do red part dot c frame yellow part dot c frame right um minus minus yellow part dot position and then plus red part dot position so you can see if i run that oh, okay so i did the exact opposite <laughs> but yeah if i run that you can see that um the red part is facing where the yellow part is facing it's because i put the wrong uh the wrong one so let's be yellow part dot c frame would equal the red part C frame minus the red part's position plus plus the yellow part's position. Okay, so once you run that, once you run that, you can see that the yellow part is now going to face uh, where the red part is facing. Okay, so now they have the same exact orientation. If I do this, then it's going to have the exact same orientation. Okay, but keeping its position. Um, basically, what you're doing is you you're setting whatever uh, you're setting the target part's C frame to so we're setting, we're basically setting the yellow part C frame to the red part C frame, right? But we're, we're, we are removing the um, the position from the red part C frame and adding our position into it, if that makes sense. So if, if you want to visualize it, you see how C frame is like, oh, C frame dot and then we have the position and then the orientation, right? What we're doing is that we're basically subtracting um, the, yellow, the the red part's orientation, or the, basically subtracting the red part's position, right? from the red parts C frame, making it zero, 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 right? Making it like this, sorry, uh, zero, 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 and then the orientation. And then we're adding in our orientation, making it uh, this, uh, we're adding we're adding in our position, sorry, making it like this, um, yellow, yellow dot position. And then we're keeping the red parts orientation. And then we're gonna set, the yellow part C frame to this this new C frame right here. So we're basically getting rid of the red part's position, adding our position and keeping the the red part's orientation, thus making the yellow yellow part have the same orientation as the red part, but the yellow part's position. Um, hopefully that makes uh makes sense. If it's if it's uh if it doesn't make sense, please let me know down below in the comments and I hope this works for you. If it works for you, um if you don't mind going down below in the um the description and leaving a like on the guy's post as well as the video that'd be very much appreciated uh thank you guys for watching and yep take it easy y'all